Hey everyone, welcome to Strange Stories, where we explore near-death experiences and supernatural stories from people who've had a glimpse of the other side. If you enjoy our content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Without further ado, let's get to the story of the day. Almost all of the futures I saw have vanished from my memory. I know I saw them, but what I saw is somewhere hidden, but not all, and some of what I recall showed what would happen if I made certain decisions. I was married at the time, and she and I weren't getting along, and I saw how many different futures could exist depending on the decisions I made with my wife. I saw how staying with her and not separating would be better for me and what I needed to do. I don't want to talk about the other things I witnessed in my life and in the past right now, but perhaps later. But then, I was with the three light beings again. They were curious to know if I understood what I was seeing. I did, indeed. I felt at home in that place of light, free and strong like I'd never felt before. So I asked the light beings if I could see anything else. They said I was supposed to do something special and that I would need to be shown certain things in order to accomplish this task. But they added, it's not me, just my path. Everyone is unique and I'm neither better nor worse. They said that the light loves us all and that our paths are all different. We're all unique and they did have more to show me. I was then led to a location that reminded me of the life review session. I recall being led to a boundary, which we crossed with the help of these light beings. It was almost like a light wall with texture and substance that felt thick. We went through it and then moved through the universe. I was taken to a location high above the earth where I watched with these light beings. They showed me things about our people's history, different cultures and civilizations, different people, and it was always from their perspective feeling their emotions as if they were my own. I got to see how closely we're linked. They showed me many passages from the Bible and explained what they meant. They made hell for me. It was critical to these light beings that I see this. I have no idea why. However, I saw how when someone dies, they may be too attached to this place to accept God's beauty, so they never go towards the light. They become in between, refusing to accept God and the light. None of us would be rejected by God. He couldn't refuse us and we couldn't cut him off. We can poke our own toe, arm or eye. I saw how we are all connected to the light and how the light is a part of each of us. The hell we must fear is one we have created because we do not live with light in our hearts. I also saw how God accepts everyone on this planet. Any one of us has the potential to have an NDE. We all will, at some point, at least when we die. We'll have to wait and see. When we die and enter the light, we each have our own day of atonement. I also witnessed how each person is shown what he can comprehend after a near-death experience. An oriental man may see oriental-looking people. A deeply religious Christian may see all biblical imagery and beings who address themselves as familiar biblical characters but I only saw light because I didn't have a specific orientation to which I needed to be addressed. After that, I returned to the pure light, still with the three light beings. I could tell something was going to happen. I felt compelled to return at that point. I felt this world pull on me, and the light beings said it was time. They told me I had to go back, that it wasn't my time to stay, and that I needed to get things done. I didn't want to leave. I explained to them that this was my home, that I wanted to stay and learn more, and that I couldn't leave. I was feeling the other place again, and my heart was racing with fear. I told them I was scared, that I didn't have anyone to look after me, that I felt alone, and that I wanted to stay in the light. They soothed me with their love, and it appeared as if they conferred, and they were the ones who said, let me show you something which is why you must return. When he turned me around, I saw specific scenes from my future, things that had already been erased from my memory. He showed me why I needed to return to the physical world, as well as what I would do and who I would touch. 
Then I found myself in front of the three light beings, knowing why I had to return. But they had taken it from my memory again. I wasn't supposed to recall that. But I knew I had something to do now and was prepared to go back and finish it. Nonetheless, I was terrified. I told them I wasn't sure if I could pull it off. I wasn't sure if I could do what they needed me to do. They realized, and then the most beautiful part of my experience occurred. We understand how you feel, the powerful light being said, and I was overwhelmed with this compassion. And then he said, look, and motion behind me. As I turned to look, I saw many, many light beings, countless light beings, and what appeared to be all of heaven's light beings stretched in a row upon beautiful row, all the way to an endless light horizon. Their love and support filled me up and something inside of me changed. I could feel it, and I stood there watching them as darkness engulfed me. The next thing I knew, I was lying back in the recovery room, still in excruciating pain and freezing cold, but starting to gasp for air. I remember opening my eyes barely to see frantic nurses above me. I came as well, but my vision was so strong. The pain was far less severe and I felt far stronger, and something else was different. I felt something in my heart. I wouldn't realize it until later, but the group of beings at the end had left something behind that had permanently changed me. I almost feel like I have a piece of heaven in my heart now, and it has blossomed like a flower. Even now, more than seven years later, I can still feel the light in my eyes, and it's only getting bigger. When I came to and was able to speak, the first thing I said was some mumbling about what I'd seen. My ex-wife arrived and inquired as to my well-being. Yes, as long as I stay with you. They showed me, I said, adding a few more details. I'm sure I sounded insane to the nurses. So my life has changed dramatically. I feel like I've been given a wonderful gift, but I'm not sure what to do with it or how to care for it properly. I'm literally a different person too because I still have that light piece in my heart and I frequently find myself feeling other people's emotions as if they were my own, just as I did in my life review. I've attempted but failed to live a normal life. I'm drawn to helping all living things, people, animals and so on, as well as arguing with people about the meaning of things in the Bible. It's also funny because I didn't even own a Bible until two weeks ago, let alone read any of it. Other things are different for me as well, but they are more difficult to articulate, and many of them are profound. I feel the need to reach out to people and share what I've seen, but I'm not sure how, and most of the people I've told about my experience have either dismissed it or couldn't understand it. 